Isn't vaccination the true meaning of India's independence at this time? Hello all of you are welcome once again in the original life. Today we have been coming in front of you once again with a great audio article. We hope you will like this audio article and it will also make you think. So let's hear this best and to your article. People from all over the world know very well that at this time if the whole world is in the midst of a problem, then it is Corona pandemic, and there is only one way to get out of this problem, that is, vaccination. India became completely free from the slavery of the British on the 15th of August 1947 and today on the 15th of August 2021. India is going to make its 75th Independence Day, which is a matter of honor for the citizens of India but the citizens of India for the last two years. They have been slaves to an epidemic for a long time and that epidemic is Corona, which has made their freedom to live like a captive. There is also a way for India to get out of this problem or get freedom from it by adopting which other countries of the world are trying to get out of this problem or epidemic in that way is vaccination. But India's vaccination campaign or vaccination festival seems to be weakening or it is more correct to say that it was weak from the beginning. There are many reasons for India's vaccination campaign being weak or weak since the inception of the government such as the lack of awareness of the people about the vaccination. Due to the lack of vaccines, this vaccination campaign has been continuously weakening. In view of all these circumstances, it can definitely be said that it will take more time for India to make Independence Day of Freedom from Coronavirus and this time has been vaccinated on the vaccination of the people. Until all the people of India or 75% of the population of India are not vaccinated, it is difficult to get freedom from Corona. If we look at the statistics, so far only 9% of the population of India has been vaccinated with both doses of full vaccination and only 31% people have been vaccinated with one dose. This is a matter of concern for a country with a large population like India, because if vaccination could not be done properly or at the right time, then it must be considered that right now the citizens of India's fight for freedom from the corona epidemic is going to go on for a long time. And getting rid of corona will not be possible. According to scientific estimates, it has also been completely decided that the third wave of corona epidemic will come in India in October or November. But in view of the negligence of the people in the shortcomings in the vaccination campaign, it seems that there is a possibility of corona epidemic in India. The effect of the third wave can be seen soon. On studying India's vaccination festival or vaccination campaign carefully, you see some shortcomings in this whole campaign, which is something like this. One threat tapism for the purchase and sale of vaccines by governments. Two changes in the number of vaccines or in the figures of vaccines. Three, lack of awareness about vaccines among people. Four, arrangements to ensure that the vaccines do not reach the vaccine centers properly. Five, governments less attention to vaccination and more attention to event vetting. All these shortcomings have been in India's vaccination and this is the biggest reason why India's vaccination campaign is struggling and seems to be weakening. 
This is not a good thing for India because India will make its independence day on the 15th of August but along with that we have to pay attention to vaccination to deal with corona and to get free from it so that the people of India will be free from corona pandemic corona mukti independence day can be celebrated and we have full faith that the people of india will be aware of vaccination as soon as possible and get themselves vaccinated and at the same time the state governments and central government will overcome their vaccination deficiencies